Today we're going to be looking at some of the tools that you will find in a well-stocked garden shed. Beginning with the most basic shovel, we have our long-handled round mouth shovel. And this is your main tool for almost all of your digging. This is what you'll use to dig garden beds and to plant trees and shrubs. And with all shovels, I'll recommend you use something as heavy as you can carry. It'll last you for years and you want something with a good handle. Next on the list is a short-handled sharpened spade. And this is a tool that you're going to use for edging your garden beds and for cutting sod. And sharpening the edge of the spade will go a long way to making those tasks a lot easier. So next on the list is a graduated transplanting tool. And this is really handy for planting your bulbs and your small annuals. And the measuring indicators are great for planting depth and for a lot of bulbs and seeds you need to know the depth at which they're planted. So this little ruler helps a lot. One of the most useful tools in your garden shed is a good fan rake. I'm partial to the steel tines on the fan rake. I find that they're great for cleaning out beds in addition to raking leaves out of your lawn. I also like that this rake has a fiberglass handle. This will hold up for years. Although this looks like a child's toy, a shrub rake is one of the most useful tools in your shed. It's great for cleaning your beds in around shrubs, hence the name, and it's also great if you have a small lawn, you don't need to get a large rake. Now in terms of your cutting tools, I love Felco pruners. A good pair of Felco 2s is useful for almost any task. They're great for trimming shrubs, pruning branches, and every part of this is replaceable. I'd also recommend that you get a holster to keep it clean and also clip it onto your belt. For maintaining hedges, especially boxwood and cedar, you need a really good pair of hedge shears. And every year, it's a really good idea to oil these with mineral oil to keep the blades sharp and working well. So for cutting those larger tree branches, a pair of long-handled bypass loppers is very handy. They make a good clean cut and the long handles give you extra leverage for ease of use. Without question, the most important tool for watering is a good hose. Make sure you get a hose that is anti-kink and has brass fittings. That is very important. They will last much, much longer than plastic. The other really important tool is a good watering wand. You want one that has a rain breaker pattern on it and a brass shutoff valve is also very handy. It lasts much, much longer than plastic. With pesticide bans in place across most of Canada, a good stand-up weeder is one of the most important tools in your shed. It's great for pulling large weeds like dandelions and chickweed and causing minimal damage to your surrounding grass. So go out and have a look in your own garden shed, and if you're missing any of these tools, remember, an investment in good tools is an investment in your garden.